The harvest is great, but the workers are few. Today, we're looking at the sending of the 12, and that phrase really jumps off the page for me today. In the first paragraph, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into the field. Friends, there are people all around us longing to hear the good news and the hope in Jesus that you and I have. Scripture says the harvest is great. The Lord who's in charge of the harvest has hearts ready to receive the good news of Jesus. But the sad thing is, is there aren't enough people willing to tell. The workers are few. So we are asked to pray that God would stir the hearts of his people to go out into the harvest field, out into their workplaces, into their neighborhoods, into their coffee shops, into their local schools, and share a bit about the hope that they have a little bit of good news. You know, Jesus is telling his disciples, telling you and I to pray about that. But he also tells us how to reap the harvest. If you continue on reading in the bottom of the the next section, Jesus says, whenever you enter a city or a village, search for a worthy person. Other translations say, search for a person of peace and stay in their home until you leave that town. He's telling his disciples and he's telling you and I, when you're looking for someone who's ready to receive the good news that you have, you're looking for a person of peace. If you dig into the scripture a little bit more, it tells you that when you enter into the home, give it your blessing and stay with you. Some other translations talk about eating and drinking what's provided for you in that home as you tell them the good news. So as we are looking to share Jesus in that harvest field, we're looking for people of peace people that are open to you, people that are open to serving you, people that receive you, right? Maybe in their home or maybe in their work cubicle or maybe in their plague date, small group, whatever the case may be, but they receive you. And whether they know it yet or not, they receive Jesus in you. So today, friends, would you join me in praying for God to stir up the hearts of his people because the workers are few, Would you pray that you and I would have the bold courage to share Jesus where we live, where we work, and where we play? And would we be able to have eyes to see where the harvest is ready? Who are those people of peace that God is placing in our lives who receive us and will receive Jesus in us?